Hey, how about three times in the first and last count, the middle doesn't count? Come on, it's just money. We, we both have endless chunks of it. Just put it in. Me not strong. Me not know how to fold. How about four times, but the third time doesn't count? I'm a fish. I can't help myself. Because I'm a fish. I'm not going to lie on TV. That's my job. I had a big hand, kid. I only bet when I have big hands. Phil Locke limps in with Jack 10. Jack 8 for Tony G. He calls as well. And a free look at the flop for Phil Helmuth. Our loose cannon playing his big ace pretty cautiously to start things off. Queen deuce tray. Check. Check by Tony G. Check by Helmuth. Check it. Ace high. Mr. Wiggins checks. Bet is 800. Phil Locke bets 800. Taking a stab at this in position. I well, believe you got it, man, but eventually I'm going to catch it, though. Did you hear that? <laughs> He's already on it. It's one hand deep. I'm already, already going to catch it, dog. Right, there you go. First pot's a rabbit. That was like a mini Helmuth speech. I'll let you get me this time. Rabbit. I'll grab a cam this one. So Ernest gives up his big ace. Oh, and he would have hit it. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Bill Locke raises to 1,200. Helmuth calls with King Queen. Suited connectors for the loose cannon. He's in as well. Not many, huh? And so's Negranu. Four players on the flop. 10, 9, 8. Everybody has a straight draw, except for Phil Locke, who pairs his 10s. Even Locke does have a backdoor straight draw as well. Action checks to Locke. That's 3,000. Helmuth makes the call. Phil's got two over cards and a gut shot draw. Uh, Loose cannon gets rid of it, as does Negranu. Five of diamonds on the turn. Locke checks. Locke is still best with his two tens. Check by Helmuth. King on the river. Very bad card for Helmuth, who's now made top pair. 14,200. Locke bets 14,200. Phil Locke with top two pair. 14,200 is more than the pot. It's an over bet which usually means extreme strength or weakness. Helmuth has to wonder if Locke is trying to milk him a bit or if he's trying to buy it. Oh my god, really? The sick thing is you could be, you could be like value betting King Jack, which is no good. But that's about all I can beat, I guess. I know what Phil has. <laughs> <laughs> good lay down. All right, Jack seven. Definitely. Showing bluffs is really good for the game, Mr. Locke. Sure. If you could show one, one that would juice him. Did you just fold king high? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Fold the kings with a queen kicker, man. Pocket rockets for Phil Locke. Phil Locke has pocket rockets right in his last name. Very good. This is definitely a time for a mini race. Right, Raised 800. Pocket seven. Tony G pocket calls. So does the loose cannon, and so does Doyle. <laughs> Six queen tray, Doyle checks. How much is in the middle? Oh, it's not, now it's no limit, right? Yeah, post lap is no limit. So it's eight times four is 32, plus six is 38. I will bet 34. Bet's 3,400. That gets right, Tony G out of here. A, a better odd number to bet with. It's going to be like 44,444 or something like Park that. Up, Ernest folds. Uh, you hear what he just said? 44-4? Yeah, that's my number. everything, because I know that's a, that's like a fill lock. That's like a big uh, percentage fill bet. Well, uh, that was a little bit too here now and then, man. Yeah, you got it. That's him, 44-4. Doyle knows his five high is no good at the moment, but he does have an up and down straight draw. His hand is well disguised. If he makes it straight, there's a chance Phil may not catch on. Doyle does make the call. So we go from four players on the flop down to two players on the turn, which is king of clubs. Doyle checks. Phil's feeling pretty confident after a call and then a check that his hand is still best. How's 7,400 sound? Sounds like a value bet to me. Let's see how it sounds to Doyle. We know that Ernest folded two deuces which are two of the outs that Doyle would need to make it straight, so he's drawing even slimmer than he thinks. Texas Dolly is no Texas dummy. He is out. Over 100,000. Phil Locke with the min raised 800. Tony like G calls. Phil Locke has devised a new strategy for the evening. A little min raise action. Heads up to the flop. Which is King Jack 5. Locke checks. 
Both players miss. Locke still out in front with two sixes. Tony G checks. Four of spades on the turn. Tony has now paired his four. Locke checks again. Tony G fires. 2,000. And Locke calls. He's up something, I guess. A loose call with two overcards on board, but Tony has been known to barrel with a wide range of nothing. Nine of spades on the river. Check. Checks. Check. Checks. Two sixes. And Phil Locke takes it down. You should have bet it all, Tony G. Where's your hat? Where's your hat? That's how We've got Phil Locke limping in. Tony G coming over the top for 3,000. And Phil Helmuth mulling it over. What's happening, Phil? I don't know, Tony. I'm, he might have it this time. I don't know. Daniel straddled this hand. He's in at a discount if he likes. And he likey likey. Pretty loose call from Daniel. He may feel like he has the right odds with this many players in the pot. And Phil Locke joins the party as well. Deuce, four, six, two spades. Daniel's flop top pair with sixes. However, Phil Locke has flopped gut shot straight and the nut flush draw. Even though he doesn't have a made hand yet, he is the statistical favor to end up with the best hand. Phil Helmuth has checked over to Daniel. Makes it 6,500 to go. Makes the call. Tony G folds. Tony, why do you get us in trouble like this? Now down to two players on the turn. Ace of hearts. Daniel looks like he's ready to fire away again. A bet of 14,000. He obviously doesn't have a good read on the strength of Locke's hand. Now, even though Locke is a weak kicker, it's unlikely he'd fold to one bet after making top pair here on the turn, not to mention all the draws he still has. You're very chatty most of the time. <coughs> right now you're in silent mode. Kind of scared a little bit. Can I get the chatter to come in? What do you want me to say exactly? I'm a little scared, to be honest with you. It's like a lot of bad things could happen here. You could have me beat. You could get there. You could bluff me. All that kind of stuff. You can have ace five of spades. You can have six four. You got like two eights, I guess. Or exactly. <laughs> Phil's trying to get a read on Daniel. Daniel's bet into him twice. Even though he's a strong draw, Phil's hand is in jail to any bigger or smaller ace. There's the call. Daniel can't be too comfortable with that. We are off to the river. Ten of diamonds. Neither player's hand improves here. Daniel's been the aggressor all along. He can only win this hand now with a bluff. He makes it 25-5 to go. So you have six deuce. Or ace ten of spades. You have ace ten of spades. <laughs> it's so random. Ace four of spades. That's what you got. Ace four of spades. I'm such a fish. I'm a fish. God, I'm a fish. Why do I want to call you? Because I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Daniel's fired three times in this hand, this time for 25,000. Locke's got one pair and a weak kicker. An easy call to make for a bad player, a tougher call for a good one. You know I have something, but you know I'm tight. I feel like I'm being just totally owned. He makes the right call. A pair of sixes. Wow. That's good. You had the ace of spades in. Yep. Good in. When you said that's, I have ace four spades. That was tricky. I, was, <laughs> I thought it might be a little tricky. Yeah. Oh my lord, look at this. I might get a walk. No walk. I got a raise up. There's a raise by Tony G to 1400. Phil knows Tony G is likely He's to raise with any two. Size pop. And so Phil makes the call. You want to have something out there worth attacking, right? That's the idea. It'd be boring if we just, just see the flop. 10 9 6, lock hits bottom pair. I check. Goes check, check. King of hearts on the turn. Action card, both players now have top pair. Phil Locke has two pair. And he checks over to Tony G, who bets 1500. That looks like my card. Tony G telling the truth for once, only Locke's got him crushed. You got something to qualify? I called. Yes, you did. Deuce of diamonds on the river. That's a safe card. Phil agrees he's going to let Tony bet into him. Tony G makes it 5,000. Phil may be contemplating a raise. 
Besides, it's not worth it, makes the call. And he shows Tony the bad news. Kings and. Too good. Locke played that pretty cautiously, letting Tony G do the work for him. Yep. Easy game. Locke scoops up a pot worth more than 16 grand. Three players on the flop, 9-8 deuce. Locke checks top pair. Tony G checks. Daniel checks. Locke's checking for pot control. No reason to build a huge pot when there are many scare cards that can come on the turn. Which is a queen of clubs. Locke checked. Tony G fired 4,000. Daniel folds. Maybe we'll just call him Tony Gravity because you can let him do the work for you. Always betting with the worst hand. Phil does make the call, and so we will see a river card. Five of clubs. Another check by Locke. Locke still has the best hand, letting Tony bet into him yet again. It's 15,000 this time. And Phil calls and sees the good news. Very nice. Over to Phil Locke, who's looking at Cowboys. And he just limps in. Phil limps again, continuing his tricky passive play. Tony G makes the call. Back on over to Doyle. And he checks. 6 5 10, a pair of hearts on the board. Check by Phil Locke. Tony G bets 2,000 with a flush draw and a straight draw. Phil Locke still has the best hand, though Doyle does have an open-ended straight draw. And so he calls. And Phil Locke raises to 7,800. Tony G calls. And Doyle does make the call. Phil probably wasn't expecting this much action with a raise on the flop. The turn card. Ten of diamonds. This is another scare card for Phil. It's very conceivable that either opponent would have called with top pair. The Locke has checked. Tony G fires 25,000. Big overbet, gonna look very fishy to Phil. And Doyle folds. Locke makes the call. Hard to lay down two kings. We know that Tony could be firing with just about any two cards. The river, the ace of spades. Locke checks yet again. It's another scare card that Locke probably doesn't like. The right size bet from Tony, maybe it will take this hand away. Tony checks. Phil Locke shows it. I can't hit with this dealer. It's unbelievable. Can't hit a hand. Well done. Phil Locke may have a wild card personality, but he's been playing like anything but so far this game. He's been playing very passively. He made some good reads, and it's worked out to his advantage. Up 130,000. He's like a professional poker player now. I'm also trying to be a poker, a TV poker player. That's more fun. <laughs> yeah, you're a professional TV poker player. I love cards. If you gave me a billion dollars, I would play cards all, not as much, but a pretty fair amount. Same amount, maybe more. It would be the same site. You'd probably just play higher, because why not? Right. You know, when all the fish dry up, sometimes I sit with the pros just to see how I can do it. <laughs> you know? Another big one for Phil Locke. Phil continues his passive playing style, just limping with Ace King. Tony G races to 2,000. Can always count on Tony G to build a pot for him. Phil Helmuth, suited connectors, makes the call. E-dub, our loose cannon, small pocket pair. He's getting the right odds to make the call here, trying to hit a set. And so too does Daniel. And Phil Locke, why not? Ace King, I'll play too. So five players on the flop. Ace Jack nine, a pair of hearts. Checked by Helmuth, checked by Wiggins, checked by Negranu. Locke can't play passively anymore. Way too many people in this hand. He's got to thin the field. He's listening to you, Joe. Bet 6,400. Tony G's got an open-ended straight draw. We've seen him call with much worse. Don't expect him to be leaving this pot anytime soon. He's not. He makes the call. Backdoor hearts are no good. Phil Locke has the ace of hearts. Phil Helmuth folds. E-dub folds. And so does Daniel. On to the turn. Seven of clubs. Locke checks. The seven does put a straight out there with 10-8. Locke's going to just want to see a showdown as cheaply as possible. Tony G checks and a five of diamonds on the river. Now with the check behind on the turn, Phil is probably now confident he has the best hand. We're going to see a value bet it looks like. Makes it 12,200 to go for Tony G. Tony G's missed again. And he raises to 26,000. Trying to buy it on the river. And I said Phil was confident he had the best hand. That confidence can go right out the window when you get raised on the river. It's a very tricky bet. Wow. Feels like you got a real something. Pre-flop. 
I love it when Phil Locke talks to himself. <laughs> wow. Well, he's trying to put it together in his head. You know, a raise this size looks like a value raise. In the end, Locke's only got one pair. Do you have eight, ten? Or nothing. That's pretty much it. Are you going to value bet ace five? You know, Phil's also well aware. Tony's stuck and steaming. Kind of a weak bet, 10,000 into like 23 or whatever. Oh, it's only 20 more, is that what it is? 25, 26, 12, so it's 14 more to get a ton of money. So 14 more to get a ton of money. Phil makes the call and wins a pot of more than $75,000. Phil Locke has yet to lose a single one of his showdowns. This is something we'll keep an eye on as play continues. The flop, five deuce queen, two spades. Locke and Doyle have both flopped top pair. Doyle's got what we like to call kicker problems. Doyle bets 1,500. Phil Locke calls. E dub folds. Four of hearts on the turn. Doyle's now made two pair. Locke's in big trouble. Doyle Brunson bets more with an M, 4,500. Doyle hasn't let out of many pots, and look at that, I Phil Locke folds, great read. Queen Jack for Phil Locke. On the button, raises to 1,200. Tony G and Phil Helmuth have decided to sit AC Slater style. <laughs> that was a bad call. Really? Yeah, this time. It could be the start of the end. If I have error, I'm gonna win it, this one. If I don't I'm gonna connect. check you in the dark. Okay. I'm not betting in the dark. Bet. I'm gonna try I can see your underpants, and I don't think it's good. You should put your jumper on. <laughs> London, France, and Phil Helmuth. 22. Six jack, seven, two spades. Phil Locke's flop top pair. He's going to bet in position. And take the hand. Why didn't I bet in the dark? It would have looked so fishy. Why didn't I bet in the dark? Ace queen for Phil Locke. Calls. Okay. Eight six suited for Tony G. Also calls. Ace king deuce on the flop. Lock checks top pair, Tony G checks. Daniel's looking at making a continuation bet on the button, hoping everyone missed. And that bet is 6,500. Lock's passive style still working out. His opponents keep betting into him when he has the best hand and when they don't have much of a chance of catching up. Phil calls. By just calling, he disguises the strength of his hand. Well, no outs, it's not good. Tony G out of the way as we now have two players to the turn. Ace of clubs, so make it trip aces for Locke. He checks. His hand improves, he checks, hoping Daniel will continue doing his bidding and betting for him. Daniel reaching for more chips. This time makes it 9,000 to go. Daniel obviously not betting for value, trying to get Locke to fold a king. And he just calls. Wow. Violent call, violent. Knock the ace out the park. Phil's got three aces, doesn't look all that comfortable. The river card, the jack of diamonds. And Locke checks yet again. At this point, Daniel's raised preflop fired on two streets. Phil Locke would not mind having a cheap showdown. Daniel's gonna fire again, it looks like. 28 grand this time. Big third barrel. Oh, and you know I can't fold too, that's what's so sick. Preflop, I was like, does he have two kings? But I can't fold, can I? I have too big a hand. I mean, you would do that with ace king, ace deuce, ace jack, pocket kings, just about everything. I might as well have just a solo king, but I don't. I have a nice, a very nice hand. I'm not strong enough to fold. I wish this happened earlier instead of later. I feel I can pay you off. I feel I can pay you off. But I don't know if I can fold. I don't think I can fold, Daniel. Daniel son, me not strong. Me not know how to fold. That was like a combination of Yoda and the Karate Kid. You knew I was calling the river when you bet nine. I mean, this is a chance for me to be, I could make a hero fold. I know I'm not gonna fold. Pocket deuces, maybe? 30,000. There's the call. Oh, you want it to fold so bad, too. You got it. <laughs> Just do it, too. Oh, the bro. Yoda kid makes the right decision. Bill rakes in a pot of almost 100 grand. Bill Locke raises to 800. Did you raise or straddle? 
Riz. Phil Helmuth, small pocket pair, limps in. Daniel in the small blind, 10-7 suited, makes the call. Doyle's in as well, so four players to the flop, which is Jack-7-5, two diamonds. Daniel with sevens and a flush draw checks. So does Doyle. Daniel's got the best hand with a pair of sevens. Phil Locke with his flush draw, bet of 400. You see Doyle has the three of hearts. He's drawn pretty thin. Phil does call. He's listening to you, Joe. Raised to 4,000. Doyle folds. Yeah. Phil Locke quickly calls. And Phil Helmuth gets out of the way. It's you and me again. Yeah, so. I'm going to try to bluff you three times again. Let's see. I think I, uh, I kind of know what you have, I think. You do? Six of spades on the turn. Phil Locke now has a pair and a flush draw himself. That's going to make it very difficult for Daniel to get him to fold. Daniel bets 7,000. Maybe I was wrong. You put me on uh, King Seven of Diamonds? No. In that neighborhood? Something like... Jack 10, Jack Queen. Okay. No, I just put you on like a four high flush draw. So now I Ooh, figured... That straight. makes a straight strassa. Phil's making a pretty good read again. He is missing the part about the pair of sevens. Lock makes the call. Phil Lock. Lock's looking for a diamond. King or a six would improve his hand as well. We're off to the river. And there's that six. Lock makes trips again. Really running good tonight. Gee, what a sick card. You said it, Daniel. Phil's been calling you the whole way. Your hand has an improve. Daniel, you're behind even top pair now. He checks. Phil's trying to put Daniel on a hand. He wants to get as much value as possible from his bet. 22,400. 22, Makes it over 22,000 to go. Another big river bet from Phil Locke. He's probably putting Daniel on a better hand than what he's got. Oh. There's a chance Daniel may read this as a bluff, like a busted flush draw. Three sixes is a very difficult hand to put someone on in this spot. I feel like you have a pair of queens for some reason. A pair of queens, Phil? Show me one queen. Tell you what, if you show me both of your cards right now, I'll tell you if I have uh, one of, I'll tell you. Let's <laughs> come here. Tell you, if you fold face up, I'll turn my hand I don't hand care about up. that, I'll, I can wait to see it. How much is it? 22,400. So bizarre, this hand. Hmm. Traditionally, if I speak in a hand, I have a strong hand. I would like to end with that as a closing thought. I, I think you got queens. That's, that's what I think you have. Two queens. What can I beat here? Yeah, queens. Yeah, I'm going to fold. Lock takes it down. Show me it face up. I'll show you face up. All right. Oh, you made the six. <laughs> okay. I thought you bluffed me for a second, then I realized, okay, you rivered me. It's all good. Lock on the button. Phil's got a rep for being a nit. When he's in a pot, people take notice. Vanessa's in this pot as well. 8A6. Vanessa checks. Top pair for Vanessa. Scott checks. And Lock checks. Seven of clubs on the turn. Locke hits his straight. Gutter ball. Vanessa fires 2,500. Vanessa has no idea how far behind her top pair is. But the chapter continues with a big raise. Locke has the low end of the straight, but Scott's not going to have the high end often enough in this spot for Phil to ever fold to him. No fold. It's a call. Now, Vanessa's probably got a pretty good idea. Her pair is no good, especially when Phil Locke calls. She folds. Scott's semi-bluff didn't work. He's going to need a 10 or a 5 to catch Phil. It's neither. Jack of diamonds on the river. Scott checks. 22,400. Lock bets 22,400. Sounds like a good number. Why not? Scott folds. Wow. What's up with that? I thought I had the best 10. Big slick for Phil Lock. Oh, my God. Min raised, ace jack for Lex. <laughs> Look at him! Scott, four bets. Too good to be true. 
Todd Brunson with a pocket pair in the big blind. I raise the maximum. Please allow me a minute. Go. Oh, Steamroll. He's in the tank. <laughs> That's not a move. I thought you were out of, I didn't even. Sorry, Todd. Phil's apologizing for trying to bet out a turn. <laughs> he probably saved Todd money. OK, he I pulled. still raise the maximum. It was not a shot. Bill pots it. So after I call, 34,600. That was fake tilting. I love it. How much do you have behind? I can't see like stacks in the back. I started this hand with uh, 114,000. So Thank now you. I have. That's fine. Scott's trying to figure out if Phil will fold to his sixth bet. 80 left. I don't have the four of hearts in my hand. And I will give you $100 if I'm lying about that statement. <laughs> That's a genius. That was the one card Scott showed last hand. This time, Scott folds, and Phil wins. Oh, that's pretty Here's the 100. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
Action on lock, ace king. Pot. Helmuth. Pot. Repops to 8,400. Fishman folds. I'm gonna bet the pot. That's my six. Add it up, tell me the damage. 18. 18? There's your four bet. I have better than a jack high. I will tell you that without any BS. Well, that narrows it down. How much more is it? Peanuts, kid. Peanuts. Is that another Charlie Brown reference? <laughs> oh, come on. Put it in after all. Come on. It's just money. We, we both have endless chunks of it. Just put it in. <laughs> why, why would you get crazy here with, like, King Jack or whatever it is? Bill Locke is not as crazy as his imaginary friends would lead you to believe. Put it in already. Come on, kid. It's just clay. I think I have you, Phil. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I think I have you. Joe, give him a little Get nudge. Get him baby. to push the chips in, you know? <laughs> Canada wants no part of it. You know? You know I'm going to fold if you stick it all in. Hiya! Help me with folds. I should have shipped it. That was a bad play. I had an ace four of hearts. Well, kid, let's put it in. And I feel like I feel like you just you just want to play with me. So I, I do want to play. With I, I, want to... I want to just snap you. You know? Yes. Snap me. I almost did it. Would you have king ten or some BS? <laughs> I had jack I beat. Yeah, I don't think you had much. Ace jack, just calls. Now the original straddler. Only eight hundred more for money bags. I think I think you I think calls. The double straddler. Checks. Three to the flop. Seven queen jack. Perkins checks. And mugs for the camera. Williams. That's 4,500. This is almost a pot sized bluff. Lock calls with middle pair. See? No, I wasn't going to call. I figure if I call, then you try and make a move. Then you guys crash into each other. One of you gets wounded. Then I'm going to get you. Bolts. I like it. <laughs> Planning for the future. Planning. One of you guys are gonna get wounded. Uh, yeah, one of them is already wounded. Don't you see the sling? Trip jacks for lock. Yahtzee. Action on Williams. Let's see if David shuts it down or barrels again. That would be option B, 14-5. It's always unfortunate when you try to rep your opponent's monster. Lock just calls. That move is likely to shut David down now. The river, four of hearts. There's the shutdown. All in. There's the shove by Locke. David's done a good job of convincing Phil he's got some kind of hand, or he might have bet a bit less there. Williams folds. 9-10. Man, Joe, I'm telling you, you got to have one of these rushes. It feels electric. Locke. Sixes. Raises to 2,000. Mercier, pocket pair. He calls. Aces for the cannon. Whoa. Let's see if he makes the raise. He's thinking of set pedaling, boys. <laughs> nice call, Locke. He's thinking. Throws him away. What? Two to the flop. Six king, six quads for Locke. I can't believe it, Vance. <laughs> David Fishman folds aces. Would have been out flopped by quads. If this happened in a movie, I would say it's too unrealistic. Locke bets 3,300. Welcome to the game, Jason Mercier. Who quickly calls. That flop will look pretty innocuous to Mercier. The turn, jack of spades. Lock checks. Lock's checking for deception. There's a chance the paint may give Jason more of a reason to get away from this on the river. Mercier checks, deuce on the river. Lock's trying to decide how big a value bet Jason will call. 10,400. Not quite an overbet, but a big bet. He's giving Jason the chance to put him on a bluff. Mercier calls. Aya! That's a sigh of relief. Oh, well. I almost raised. Jack 10 suited for lock. <laughs> calls. It's more than that, Phil. String call. I knew what you were doing. Give the guy a break. He's pulling a Jim Abbott over there. The flop. 
886 grabs everybody's interest. That's right. No one hits, but everyone's got some of each other's outs. Lock with a flush draw. Bets 4,200. It's a donk bet semi-bluff. Mercier, a gut shot. Folds. What you got, Phil? Best hand. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, you know? All right. Perkins calls. Gamble. Uh, no gamble, no future. No gamble, no future. The turn, seven of hearts, gives Perkins the upper hand. Action on Locke, who's also picked up a straight draw. Checks. 6,000. Bet 6,000. By betting here, Bill Perkins makes it less likely that Locke will try to bluff the river if he misses. Locke calls with his flush draw. It's one of the sloppiest 6,000 calls I've ever seen. <laughs> Man's got one arm. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, him I forgot. My bad. The river. Jack of hearts gives Locke top pair. Locke made a hand, but not the one he really wanted. He checks. Perkins did get that free showdown if he wants it. Such a fish. Two pair. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Locke wins a pot of nearly 26K. Oh, I knew you were so... Trey seven, deuce. Williams Check. checks his straight draw. Locke checks middle pair. Mercier looks like he's got it in mind to continue his pre-flop aggression. His C bet's worth 3,200. If David called pre-flop with this hand trying to get unstuck, he can't fold now that he has a gut shot. He does call. And so does Locke. Phil Locke has made the right read on this situation. His pair of threes is the best hand for now. The turn, five of spades gives Williams a straight. He checks. Locke checks. And Mercier checks. Mercier doesn't bite. Three of clubs on the river. Awesome card for David Williams. Terrible card for Phil Locke. Williams bets 5,000. Now that Locke's got trips, he might raise here. The flush missed and only ace four and four six hit straights. David, can I see your stack? Locke. Is that a call? Yes, sir. Calls. Mercier folds. Somehow Locke had the sense to just call in that spot. Ace deuce for Locke. People hit the lottery. People don't win ever. People... Also calls. Kata in. Mercier. Free look at the flop, which is six ace nine top pair for Locke. Everyone but Kata's got reason to stick around in this pot. Kata checks to Mercier, who has a flush draw. Bets 1,300. Williams calls with second pair. Locke calls. Cata folds. Locke's got the best hand, but he's only about a coin flip to stay that way through the river. The turn. Deuce of hearts to pair for Locke. Action on Mercier. Bets 4,300. David Williams does have second pair, but he's been led into twice, and he still has Phil Locke to act behind. Williams calls. Very loose. Locke should probably raise. Nope, just a call. It's pretty tough for someone to have a better hand than him, and there are draws to protect against. The river. Three of clubs. Locke still best. Jason hit a card, but not the one he was looking for. Mercier, chips in hand, bets 12 and a half thousand. Williams folds. We know Locke's style is to just call when he doesn't have a super premium hand. He does. Set. Just kidding. JK, another Merce roll. That's three. Locke wins a pot of 44,000. <sighs> Should have raised the flop. Queen Jack for Locke quickly calls. And Lou calls 1,000 with ace-8 offsuit. Ace-4 for Rick Solomon. Looks like he's going to be in anyway. Yeah, it was like calls. About 2% you were going to fold there. <laughs> I can't wait to see your stats at the end of the show. It's going to be like 100% for so many numbers. <laughs> Four-way action to the flop. Deuce, ace, jack. Lou and Solomon both pair their aces. Four-way action on the first hand. I think I'm going to like this table. And Lou bets 2,500. Lou's leading out with a donk bet, not wanting to give a free card on a wet board. Solomon calls. Negranu's out. It's totally cool when the pros do it, by the way. Call. 
And lock calls. Phil knows Randy doesn't necessarily need to have an ace to bet this flop. Turns the jack of spades and locks made trips. Check. Lou checks. Solomon checks. How much is in there, sir? Because I got a feeling I might make a bet. Our game is no limit post-flop, so the dealer is not allowed to tell Locke how much is in the pot. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 something. I'm going to bet 11,200. Polarizing bet in a polarizing spot. Lou lays it down. He does that quickly. Right. Muffin man, I know you're folding. I could tell. Solomon folds and Phil wins a pot worth 24,000. I'll raise 1,200. That's the way to do it. She raises to 1,200. Locke calls. <laughs> Flop is five, nine, eight, two diamonds. Cannon flops top pair, Phil with nada. But Phil bets it, 1,500. Locke's trying to test her metal with this donk bet. She does look like she wants to fold. I'll call. But she calls. Not what Phil wanted or expected to hear, I bet. Deuce of clubs on the turn. And maybe Phil's given up, he checks. Perfect spot for a value bet. 3,500. Oh. G bets 3,500. Oh. You were supposed to just fold when I bet the flop. That was, that Sorry. was. Sorry, next time, I forgot. You didn't tell me. Folds. Eat some of that. That hurt. Nine, jack, six. Both players miss. Locke's still ahead. Solomon whiffed pretty huge. Let's see if he can continue this flop. Check. Checks it. Rick's giving up the lead. 64. And Locke bets out 6,400. If I can find it. See ya, Rick. Rick? Uh, it doesn't look like he's folding. Calls. Oh, Rick just floated the pants off this flop, and you'd think his friend Phil Locke would tell him that his hat's on crooked. <laughs> Four of clubs on the turn, and Solomon's made a pair and checks it. Solomon gets there on the turn pretty sick. Check. And Locke checks. To the river. Deuce of diamonds. 10-2. Solomon bets 10,200. Rick's made a value bet with fourth pair so thin, Kate Moss tried to give it a sandwich. <laughs> I feel like you have some two pair gross nine deuce hand or something like that, which beats me. Or queen 10, and you think I won't call. That's the benefit of a rep. You can get absurd value when someone feels like being a hero. Oh, kid. I fold. Oh, Phil Locke's folding pairs. What in the world is happening? Watch him as he goes. Pairs, for real? <laughs> Too late, you can't change your mind now, you said full. I know it hurts though. Solomon wins a pot worth 38,600. I just think he's beating me. I think he has nine deuce or... Nine deuce? Something it's weird. It's interesting to put, put a guy on nine deuce. <laughs> <laughs> what? I had something funky. <laughs> he had a funky thing, I know how he thinks, you know? I'm like you, Muffin, I'm just gonna call, you know? Cause I need to know the future. I can't see it if I don't put the money in. All right, we're gonna check. So Phil was the only one to call the bet, and Solomon checks his option. He's out of position, so it checks fine. To the flop. King, ace, three, rainbow. Phil checks his pair. Check. And Solomon checks his gut shot. Deuce of clubs on the turn. Lock checks. Check. And Solomon checks. River's a queen, and Solomon makes Broadway. Lock checks. I bet pot. Rick tries to bet pot. You bet pot? What is with you people? Pick a number and bet. Pick a it. number, kid. Gotta count it yourself after the flop. Decides on 3,500 and is called quickly. He's got a straight. He's gonna win it. Solomon takes it down. I guess I missed a bet. He owns you so far. I thought we were all playing a little... Ace queen for Phil. Loose and slippery. Raises. Um, race. Race. 37. Lou three bets to 3,700. Randy's been three betting like you read about. Muffin, thank you. Oops. I might just play now. In fact, I will. Thank you, Muffin. No problem. And lock calls. Muffin, you need I don't care that I have the third best hand. I don't even care about that, you know? It feels good. You know, actually, it feels there. good deep, deep down. Jack eight, three on the flop. Phil picks up the nut flush draw and his ace high is still good on its own. I check. Solomon okay. checks, as does Phil check. and Lou. I like that. Phil hates that. It was a slam dunk check raise. Ace on the turn. Check. Solomon checks his pair. And Locke's checking top pair and a flush draw. Check. Lou checks. Everything coming up lock. Seven on the river. 5K. 5K from Solomon. Locke's checking has convinced Rick he's got the best hand. And Locke calls. And Randy folds. I got an ace. Me too. I got you. <sighs>
Locke quickly shows him the news. I was about to tell everyone this is not how you play ace-queen. You're supposed to bet the flop, maybe raise the flop, definitely bet the turn. And, you know, I was waiting for my check raising the flop. Of course, Randy does not comply. Nice hand, nice hand. And the turn, I'm like, well, this means Muffin will bet. And if he doesn't, Randy for sure will bet. He didn't. I'm like, okay, now I'm playing bad. And on the river, I'm like, oh, I'm just beat. Probably, maybe not. Let's call. <laughs> a little Muffin money. That's it, kid. The bakery is on hold for a little bit. All right, Muffin. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Lock calls with pocket fours. King Jack of spades for Solomon. Pot. You don't have to do that, Muffin. <laughs> you know, you can play fair. I'm a regular shopper. I get the baker's dozen often. Well, the price of muffins just went up. <laughs> Solomon's raised to 5,300. But you know I'm sick, and I have to see the flop. And Locke calls. I want to punish him so bad. <laughs> I want to punish you, kid. Heads up to the flop. Five tray deuce. I checked so. Phil's checked his pair and open ender. Check. Turns the jack of diamonds. Phil's added a flush draw. Check. Checks it. Phil's pair no good anymore. Solomon now with top pair. And he bets 6,200. 62. That's a lot. Muffin's good. Phil likes his draw. He hurts me. Heads up to the river. Six of hearts. Phil makes a straight. Check. Jack. No good. Very decent check behind by the amateur. Figure it out. Oh, oh, there it is. Miserable. I missed the bet. <laughs> I just know you like to bet against me so much, you know? <laughs> nice, yeah. Thank you. Okay, boys, I've separated my stack into two piles. The buy-in, 100K, and the profit pile. So if I play with this, it can be any kind of goofy stuff. But if I go into this stack, I'm giving you a live pro tell. The profit pile. Live pro tell. <laughs> I hope this isn't one of those genius nine balls that just wins the pot. Nope, it's not. 31. Jack 10 for lock, raises to 3,100. Let's see what the sleeper wakes up with. 10, nine of diamonds. How can you not defend your straddle with suited connectors? Calls. Exciting straddle. Phil's excited to have you dominated. Lock and Solomon heads up to the flop. Queen seven, seven rainbow. Somehow Locke has the best hand. 42. He bets 4,200 and Solomon folds. Come on. You have nothing, don't right. come on. No, I, I, You're a liar, you always lie. Right, Show right. something if, if, you, if, you, if, you want, if you want anyone to believe you. I watch TV. I watch right. TV and about You're 35 right. in a row, Phil Locke told the right. truth 0% right. of the time. He's right, he's right. Damn it, he got me. Damn. I should just said I Eventually it got so easy to figure you out. Right. I got to throw in. I got to balance my range. And it's over to Lou, ace king in the big blind. I smell three bet. You're trapped into having to look at a flop, sir. No matter what. I raise. It's just him. He just re raises every pot. <laughs> That's what he does. His three bet percentage is off the charts. Randy Lou's put in three bets to 3,200. Oh, did I make it too much? I raised the maximum. And Phil Locks made it four bets with King Deuce. I hope Amanda's impressed by watching $10,000 burn. Um, I, put a, I put a lot in. Um, <laughs> like, thir I, don't, I put a lot in. 30, 40 or something? Our first five bet. Yeah. <laughs> 32, there we go. Internet players. Okay. So Randy Lou's re-raised a lot. Came just in time for some action. What do you think, Amanda? This is what you call playing this hand very poorly. <laughs> an example of how to not play this particular hand. What did he have? That was a good move. You like that? Mm -hmm. Lock re-raises with ace deuce. You already know what I'm gonna do. Pretty much what I always do. Daniel calls. Daniel actually thinks the words to that Stevie Wonder song are, I just called, and that's it. Flop is 937. Daniel flops a gut shot and checks. 65. 65. Phil's ace is best. It's a lot of, a lot of heat. A lot of heat, Mr. Locke. Definitely not folding. I can promise you that. Ob. Be my card. Be the one I want. He just calls. Eight of hearts on the turn. Daniel checks. 18-4. And Locke bets 18,400. That looks like such a card I would want. It's actually not even remotely a card he would want. Not only did he miss, but now he's drawing to the dummy end of a four-card straight. Meanwhile, Phil Locke's bluffing with the best of it. All right. Take it down. Negreanu folds. I have a feeling Phil Locke has something here. I thought I had the best hand. 
You did. You did. You definitely had. I can guarantee you had the best hand. Only I will know. Oh, I know we had the best hand. Did you see my hands? <laughs> I saw your hand. You sick pup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to lose if you see my hand. King Queen for Phil Locke. Min raises. Lou raises the 3,000 with the 10 7. And Locke calls. Standard call against a guy with three bets constantly. To the flop for a six, two hearts. Locke checks. Randy's got a flush draw. Should be more than enough reason to continue. And it is. Bets 4,400. Chinese poker. And Locke raises to 11 2. With the profit pile. Haven't even cut into this. So this could be gamble. This could be gamble time. Oh, what, what, 11 2? 11 2 total. Uh, I call. Oh. And Lou calls. I like Phil's raise. He knows Nano doesn't need to have an ace to three bet or to continue. It's a very wet board. Randy, on the other hand, pretty confident his hearts are live. Deuce of clubs on the turn. Big brick. Check. Lock checks. Blue checks. Randy gets a free card. Eight of diamonds on the river. 42,000. 42, Phil Lock bets 42,000. Phil Lock has unibombed the river. And Lou is out. Look at Lock just swinging. Swinging for the fences. You're in that mood all of a sudden. I thought that was the right amount to put out. You you play based on mood. I know that already. Come on. A lot of mood. A lot of mood. You're in that mood to just bet Okay, big. okay. A little bit of I that's true. Up. I'm trying to find spots to put money in. It's true. Queen of clubs on the turn. Thanks. Lock checks again. What did he do? He checked. Already? Yes. And Grano checks his cards and then checks. Jack of spades on the river. Locke has this hand locked up as long as he doesn't fold. Checks again. Daniel checks. Ace with what? Seven? Pair of twos, ace, queen, yeah, seven plays. <laughs> seven <laughs> plays. You see, that's all they need. Solomon re raises his pocket eights to 3,000. How much do I owe this pot? Three game? 3K? All right, sir. Gamble. Good luck to both of us. Locke makes a fairly loose call out of position, but thinks he has an edge against his amateur buddy. Seven, six, four. Locke's got two pairs. Solomon with an over pair. I checked the sick one. Pretty gross flop for Rick. 5,000. I raised the sick one. Great spot for a check raise. Locke raises two. 12,200. How much is that? You don't have to call, sir. You can just let it go. Solomon calls. What are you doing, kid? Rick Solomon, what are you doing? Rick, what do you want, kid? Tell me what you want. <laughs> you want a specific card, kid? I should just shut up, I think. Turns the three of spades. And there's the action killer. How much more do you have, son? 60K. 63,000. Despite the potential action killer, something tells me these guys like to gamble with each other. I'm going to bet 42,400. Because that's a good number. And I've used it in the past. There's no time to use the things we've won from the past. I'm all in. Solomon's all in. Wow. We have all in. Wow, wee wah. <laughs> How much more is it? Getting six and a half to one. <laughs> How much more? That's... This is a great show. I think I'm going broke. Phil might think Rick's got a five, but he can't fold. It's 21 more? That's it? 21,100. Almost as if the gods have decided to torture me. Keep it nice and small. Wow. All right, give me four yellows. Locke calls Rick's all in. Rick Solomon, want to run it three times? Do what you got. <laughs> well, I've, I got a kind of hand where running it three times would be fun for me. Well, you show me your hand. I'll, I'll talk about it. Will you show me yours? Yeah, I promise you. I got two pair. Oh, you're good. Okay, great. Now you want to run three, three times. times. Yeah, three, three times. Three times, buddy. How about four times, but the third time doesn't count? <laughs> nice hand. Three times, Or just right? three times. Yeah, three times. No fives! We're going to see three rivers three with times. the winner taking a third of the pot each time. I'm going to be I'm happy with that. I mean, you have to get an eight <laughs> or a five. <laughs> you know? It needs five, four, three, eight, yeah? I don't think I'm winning any. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to win one. Phil's the favorite as we see the first river. King of spades. And Locke wins a third of the pot. I symbolically want to show what's going on. This is mine. No matter what comes, at least I got one. That's you. Power card, too. It's a king. It's a good high card for strength, you know, to meditate on strength. If it comes, I'm going to be strong. We can take it. Shit, it's going to happen. Okay, bring it out already. Statistically, Rick should win at least one of these. River number two, ten of spades. That's two. Okay, we got to give one. Lock wins again. Solomon. This wouldn't be fair. I'm not getting any. 
I just want to, you know, be near you if it comes and be near you if it doesn't come. Oh, That's eight. the right idea. Yeah, look at that. It's even 40% of a straight flush right here forming. So there's power strength. But I'm still okay if I lose because you don't Can always make straight flush. Can we get the misery over with? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh can Phil Locke go three for three? Yes, he can. Ten of diamonds on the river. He scoops. I'm buying him for 50. Nice, yeah. And he wins almost $160,000. Locke, how do you do it? How does he do it? On Daniel Negreanu. Ace eight of diamonds. Another suit of days for Daniel. Raises to 1,200. King seven for Phil Locke. Calls. Probably, if I'm going to bet, I'm, it's just going to be about 2,000. I'm not sure I am. I'm going to bet here about 61%. Hold on a sec. Can you just hold on a sec? Let's just bet call and look at the turn. Okay, how much? 2,000? Yeah. Fine, fair okay. enough. Four hey, go to the turn. Oh, be good for me. Blind bet, blind call, seven deuce tray. One more card. He bet two and I called. Yeah. Phil ahead on the flop. Turn. Ace of hearts. Daniel now ahead with top pair. Phil with a pair and a flush draw. Guess that A stands for action card. Negranu bets 4,400. What are you grabbing the, the big orange one for? <laughs> Looked like he was getting frisky with that one. Not frisky, just calls. Five of clubs on the river. Grano checks. Every draw in the world came in. It'll be tough for either to have a read on this hand since they played this with one less street than normal. Lock checks. I have an ace. That's good. Phew. Oh, please, please don't bet. Please don't bet. Did you guys hear that in my head? Huh? I can't. I don't have an ace. I guess you win, right? I guess I win. Just want to check. That was fun. Again. Phew. That, that, that no bet turn <laughs> you, huh? <laughs> Lock seems dazed by his plan to call the flop blind. That was a funny hand. Locke is under the gun with queen seven of diamonds. <laughs> calls. Actions folded around to Daniel. Ace eight. It's just me and you, buddy. You check. He checks. I check. <laughs> oh, I limped. That's right. Yeah, I remember my hand. <laughs> King, jack, ten, two diamonds. Daniel's well, got a gut shot. I'm going to check. Huge flop for Phil up and down and with a flush draw. Daniel's checked it and Phil bets 1,500. Locks behind for now, but he's got every draw imaginable. Even a seven is live. And now it's time for the two most commonly used words on this show. Daniel calls. <laughs> Ace of diamonds on the turn. Shades of Woody Allen here, Joe. Daniel pairs his bullet. Phil makes Broadway. <laughs> Daniel checks. Locks made the nuts with a redraw to the royal nuts. Lock bets 4,400. Daniel seems a bit surprised Phil's betting. He must know. have like two fours or something. Ah, he went. Daniel, let's it go. Two fours. You don't know what? I don't know. No. I had a big hand, kid. I only bet when I have big hands. I no, but that time you might have had fours. Pocket fours? I can't tell you. Well, I'm going to see it eventually. Or you just want to tell me right now. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. Solomon folds to Rast. Suited connectors. Raises to 1,200. Over to Rast's BFF with seven deuce. Pot. P-O-T. Lock making a move. 44 total. You now he's three bet, and we taught him a new word. Said it near Phil. Now he's anxious to try out his new toy. And Rast calls. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Jack five nine two hearts. Rast pairs is five. Lock bets out sixty four hundred with seven high. I guess you only hurt the ones you love. I think Phil Lock's going to be moving down on Brian Rast's speed dial. He calls. Rasty, crafty Rasty's in there. To the turn, ten of clubs. Phil picks up a gut shot. Phil knew going into this, he'd likely have to bluff this hand. 22,400. And he bets 22,400, and Rast quickly folds. I like showed a him. bull you are, Phil Lock. Just push, push. I thought, I thought I had the best hand. Not true. You probably did. And not true. Action on Daniel, two tens. Raises to 2,500. Action now on the malleable motion wave kung fu frisbee player <laughs> with ace queen. Just calls. <laughs> Action folds around to Solomon. 6-3 suited. Calls. So we've got sick, sicker, and sickest. <laughs> Three-way action of the flop. King deuce 10 rainbow is set for Daniel. Checks. Daniel knows with two callers pre-flop, a C-bet is likely to get some action on a two-Broadway card flop. And Negrano bets 5,500. And Locke calls with his gut shot. Solomon quickly out. Phil's drawing to the nuts, and he knows Daniel doesn't have to have a hand, and sometimes ace-queen will be good. King of diamonds on the turn. Daniel's hand improves to a full house, and this looks like a good card to bluff at. Daniel loading up. 
fires 18. <laughs> really, Daniel son? 18, Daniel son? Too late to change my mind now. It's true, you're kind of committed to that. I'd show you a card, but they're both the same. I'm afraid you have two tens. How can I call? I can't call. I fold. I have two tens. I have two tens. What do you mean I'm afraid? How did you know that? You didn't have a king, obviously. No, I didn't have a king. I did have two tens. Well done. Oh, three-way. There you go. Take five back. Okay, guys. I'm... Well, would you be surprised it's three-way? Uh, no, I guess not. To the flop. Ten, six, nine, two hearts. Lock flops middle pair. Checks it. Lou checks it. Daniel is not a guy with a 100% C-bet rate, though he does have a gut shot. He checks. Turns the eight of hearts, and Daniel makes it straight. Randy Lou's picked up a big draw as well. Locks checked. Makes it 3,000. Daniel's made his gut shot, but it's not even remotely to the nuts. We know Randy likes to fire. And Daniel likes his hand. He calls. And Locke calls. Locke joins us? <laughs> even Locke's got a clean shot at the pot at this point if a jack hits. The river, ace of clubs. Lock missed. And checks. Randy missed. Checks as well. Daniel's got the best hand. Should be able to bet this for value, though there are some hands that beat him. It's possible some worse hands would call. Daniel bets 5,500. 55. Phil's only got a bluff catcher at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go like 26,000, but something's saying don't do it, Phil. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and Phil folds. And Lou's out. I was, I was up to 37% on 26 times. Well, I don't know why you didn't do it. That's the highest I obviously had to come. I had to have it. Pocket kings for Phil Locke. I'm going to raise. <laughs> Phil re-raises to 8,900. Kenny and Lou are out, as is Solomon. Rast out of position with a weak ace against a guy who doesn't cold three bet very often. Big hands. And Rast folds. Boys, you want to show them the pot, make the pot bigger, and then make your bet look smaller. You know, when you have big hands like that. Uh, that felt uh, baloney. Yeah, it felt not so big after the speech. Yeah, the speech uh, <laughs> didn't sound legit. They don't know. I've done the non-weighted game thing. I think at the thing. core, you, you usually fall back on good old faithful lie. <laughs> like whenever, if, if, if it's a quick decision, it's going to be a lie. I don't think you've perfected your lie merge yeah, I do like playing cards. I'll say that. That's the truth. Raised it up. Action over to the cannon with ace-four offsuit. Makes the call. There it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Out of the gate. We're playing cards. To the flop. Ten ace three rainbow. Martinez with top pair. Phil with middle pair. Martinez checks. <laughs> That's a Phil lock check. Like I'm going to bet that. that. Like I'm going to fall into that trap. A little pot control from the cannon. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Max's ace is still best. Now he's got outs to a wheel. He bets 1100. How much? 11? <laughs> That's a trap I can be in. Locke does put in 1100 more while he's behind. Ace of spades on the river. That second ace hitting isn't so great for Phil. And Max checks his trips. Now I gotta get out of the trap. <laughs> 2200, I guess. That's a trap getting out. Perfect shot. Lock fires 2200. Maybe not. <laughs> Martinez. Max is actually pretty lucky Phil bet here. And raises to 5,600. Pretty thin spot for a raise. Max actually has the worst ace possible. All right. My thinking here is this is not a call in the long run. Correct. But why do I not believe him? The problem is if I call and I'm wrong and you win the money, then I'm going to believe you for the rest of the night. 149 hands where I believe you, and that's going to hurt. We, we all love you for getting us the information, though. Because <laughs> I want to see the hand, too. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm paying him off. I don't know how much is it. He's got a pair of jacks. Four, five? Ace four. Ace four, Easily the most steamed I've ever seen, Phil. The cannon's going to take our first pot of the night worth 15,800. You know what? I'm steamed. I'm reloading. 50 more. I'm buying him for 50 more right now. I want to have you covered in case something nice, happens. Good job. You put him on TT in one hand. On one hand. <laughs> you got me steamed up, kid. Jack nine of diamonds for Phil Locke. Raises to 800. Min raise. The businessman with Queen 4 makes the call. I would say that maybe Perkins is steaming, but he plays almost every hand, winning or losing. Clubs again for Helmuth, ace 4 this time. Makes the call, and Dario's in. Feels out of position, but it was a min-raised pot, and it's pretty common to see three guys all want to be in the pot with a rich fish. Uh, Perkins! 
flop. Deuce, queen, nine, rainbow. Check. Phil checks. Minieri checks. As does Locke. Gives up the lead. Well, we know what Perkins does when he's got nothing. Let's see what he does when he's got top pair. Bet's 4,000. Very strange for me to wear glasses. Is it on me? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Guess the hearing aid's next. <laughs> and Locke makes the call with middle pair. Heads up to the turn. Ace of diamonds. Both players pick up flush draws. That diamond's bad news bears for Locke. Checks. That diamond draw is probably going to keep Locke in this pot, but it would be super unlocky to hit one. Perkins bets 15,000. Perkins has overbet the pot, which is why Phil may look a little confused. This is such a great spot for Perkins. And Locke's going to make the call. Pretty rare to see a pair in a flush draw versus a pair in a flush draw. Sick. Decent sized pot as we go to the river. Jack of hearts. Phil makes two pair. Oh man, alive did he just get lucky. He checks it. Perkins has overbet the pot twice, so it looks like Phil's just playing bluff catcher now. Board doesn't look so hot for Perkins' hand now either. I got a queen. That's a check. And Locke quickly shows him the suck out. Hey, you a queen. I don't know. If I picked up a diamond, whatever. You're I'm going to lose. I have a queen. I well, I'm going to win if I miss. If I get a, a three of clubs in the river, guess who's barreling? Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Oh, my lord. Oh, I'm begging for the diamond. I'm like, bring me a diamond so I can stack him. Oh, you my God. Donkey. Now I'm Steam. Now you got me. I'm buying in another 50. By the way, I only won that pot because he got me Steam. That would call, I would fold the turn sometimes, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to win the... Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm I can't 50. fold the turn, but he bet a lot and whatever. And I was donkey. Singing, I can't help myself. King Jack Deuce. How many with top pair? Checks it. Elky missed. And checks. Locke has middle pair and what will often be the best hand. And bets 2,200. Phil uh, almost insta-calls. And Elky will get out of the way. Turn. Seven of hearts. Phil still best. Checks it. The loser of this hand needs to put on a piece of clothing that's not black. And other Phil checks. We'll see a river. Four of diamonds. This is a slam dunk value bet for Phil. Hellmuth. Five thousand. And he bets 5K. Let's see what Nitty Lock does in his Nitty Cap. <laughs> I keep making all these tight folds. He's probably value betting King 8. Heck of a read. Five way action of the flop. King 8 tray, couple of diamonds. Perkins whiffed. Checks his jack high. Max flop middle pair and the best hand. Checks it. Phil's got the third best hand. Also wants no part of it. No set, no bet. Elky's also got middle pair, but Max has got him out kicked. And Elky bets 1,400. Phil Locke has no pair, but with his flush draw, he's got the most equity in this pot. And he calls 1,400 with the jack high flush draw. Perkins out. Starts yawning from boredom not even one second later. And Martinez is out. Folds the best hand. And Helmuth will get out of the way. We'll go heads up to the turn. Me and the best. Jack of spades and Locke with a pair now as well. Phil Locke continues to run hot. Elky checks. <laughs> All right. And Locke checks. They don't want the pot to get too huge. Five of clubs on the river. Elky checks again. This is sometimes a spot for a value bet. Check. And Locke will check it down. Check. And Locke wins. I win that stupid hand. Really? Yeah, Jack 10. No way. Thank you for betting. You got out the best hand. 10 8 for Helmuth raises to 1100. Dario is Jack. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to start squeezing. It's successful. You have to squeeze a little bit. I think they got their squeeze wires crossed. Dario re raises. You have to be thinking about squeezing, at least at a minimum. Even if you're playing fast. Elky folds. Lock with seven deuce. Uh, I can see the devil on his shoulder now. If I wanted to go the max, what would, what could I do? 99 would be the max. 99? Oh, that number's right up Phil's alley. I don't know, when you're stuck, 29, 99 seems like a good number. <laughs> How did I know? Solid poker strategy. All day, raises to 9,900 with the seven deuce. 
My day's coming, so it's not going to be far off either, baby. I'll tell you right now. Phil Folds. You want to gamble with me? So does Dario. My Wolf day's fluff. coming. Sure. He was sure. bluffing. Show sure. sure. a deuce. Sure. 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 Chance this hand has a deuce go. in it. Show a deuce. Show a deuce. Come on. Jack three. Do it. Do it. Two hundred dollars. He could have had the jack three there. I love how you guys put me on a bluff there. I'm out of position. I know you're. I'm getting called in one spot. I put Dario. you. I put you on a bluff. Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Dude, you're playing every hand. I love it. Lock with ten nine of hearts. Phil's dominated. Where's the five? Yeah. Calls 4,300. I love how Max doesn't shy away from these huge pots at all. 4, 10, queen, rainbow. Lock and Martinez both with middle pair. Jake? Lock's got kicker problems like the karate kid. And Max hasn't given a ton of free cards this week. He fires 6,100. A lot of money out there to fold this to one bet, especially when everyone has a pretty good sense of how aggressive Max has been. Lock makes the call. String call. It was. Stringy dingy. Oh. Turn. Deuce of diamonds. Lock checks. Will Max keep barreling? He does not. Checks it to the river. Queen of diamonds, two pair for both. Changes absolutely nothing. Lock checks. This is probably a spot for a value bet, especially knowing how aggressive our cannon's been. And Martinez bets 25,000 with his two pair better kicker. Very polarizing bet on a hand that's not polarized. This is called a thin cull. I don't normally do these. But I decided a long time ago. Wait, let me get my notepad. I the only way to beat these shallow this monks is, is to just a thin call. You just get some little chunk of something. You just hold on, and if they pound you into the ground and they take your satchel and run away into the forest, then you're <laughs> sitting there with no satchel. That's okay. I've done without a satchel before. What in the H? <laughs> but if my thin little gangly crackly one pair no. is good, then oh. I took his satchel. Does this story have a point? Bring Just keep a coin, keep a coin. Keep a coin, come Flip on. A coin. <laughs> Flip a chip. Maybe. I'm getting a coin. <laughs> I like the coin. Max can now win an extra 25 grand based on the flip of a coin. I have a coin, I know. Okay, I got one cents. <laughs> Give me the coin. Shaolin's got his own <laughs> coin. Shaolin, you want to see the Shaolin coin? Ancient Chinese proverb says, anytime man offers you coin, don't flip, but call instead. Wow, is that parable true? I'm going with the parable. Lock calls, Max shows the winner. Ace them. You're in the Shaolin value bet. Shaolin value bet. <laughs> oh, I love that a little talk. He knew the Shaolin parable. He knew to offer the coin, because he knew if he offered the coin, I would call. Wow. Lock with ace queen. Can't be one in that. Raises to 1,200. Helmuth with 10-8 makes the call. All right. Four hours ago, you would have folded that. You guys no. were so good that we're going to do it. You're, you're realizing no. there's only 34 I'm going to check. Up. I don't fold this hand that often, but. Story checks out and in the dark. Trey 5 Jack Rainbow. The poker brat is checked in the dark. It's over to Phil Locke. Who has the best hand with ace high? Locke checks. Turns the ace of hearts. Locke hits top pair. Locke has even more of the best hand now since Phil's drawing dead. And Helmuth checks. And Locke will check. Getting a little tricky. River, seven of hearts. Looks like getting tricky might have worked. And Helmuth bets 1,600. That's right. Locke's turn check gets Helmuth to fire the river. Locke makes the call. You got it. I know. Ten okay, high. Show it. Ten high? Hey, I, I got a pair of aces. How's that? You want to see it? I'll you show you. See, you really want me to <laughs> expose my hand? Do you have a flush draw or a four? You really want me to expose my hand? If you have a four or two, okay. yeah. Go ahead. Helmuth shows. Well, if he has a four or two with it, it's a little different. Ten eye flush draw. You know? Bad etiquette to make the loser expose his hand, Mr. Locke. Wow. I can't believe a professional made me expose my hand for 1600. You, were, you rushed to show it because you know I didn't really care. You know that's bad etiquette. The young guys don't know that, but you do. I know, whatever. Whatever, man. You've changed. Elky races the 1300 with King 10. Locke <laughs> calls quickly with Ace 8. I bet the pot. Perkins pots it. How much? 64. To 6,400 with the 8, 6. And Elky Fultz. And for the set, was that him? So seek. Locke makes the call. We know Locke has Perkins dominated. He knows Perkins could be doing this with any two cards. Queen, 3, 8, 2 clubs. Locke and Perkins both with middle pair, but Phil with a stranglehold now with the nut flush draw. Bets 10K. What an insanely good flop for Phil. Perkins calls. Phil's donk bet to induce action. Perkins snap calls with middle pair, no kicker. Seems pretty proud of himself. Turn, 
Eight of diamonds, both players with trips. Oh boy, both these guys have monster hands and monster stacks. Things are about to get real real in here. Mock bets 25,000. Someone get Bill Perkins a blanket because this is a cold deck. I raise. He's gonna raise it. There's the 25. How much will Bill Perkins fire into the abyss? Raises to 80,000. Now 140,000 in this pot. Phil Locke with a bit of a nit roll or Hollywooding, but he's never folding. <laughs> I think I got you beat. I think you, unless you have like ace eight of clubs or some sick demon hand. Well, he's clearly not nit rolling, Joe. I think he's just relishing the moment. I, I just, boys and girls at home, if I'm wrong and you're starting to try and you know, like play good poker, and <laughs> you think this is the night to like, you know, let's follow Phil. He always gets unstuck. Maybe this is the time to watch a different program. Can I give him the penny? This is dirty. That penny is cursed. I'm going to make my own decision. It's cursed. He's going to fold. There's no way he's going to call half his stack. Well, you're right, Phil. He's not calling. All right, this is what it looks like when I go all in. I'm all in. Locks all in. I call. Perkins calls. Good move. Uh, evil. It was evil. I'm sorry. You're my friend, so you can take it. You want to run it twice? Twice. Hey, how about three times in the first and last count? The middle doesn't count. Go. Next. So they're going to run it three times. Over 330K in the middle. Three times. First and last. Second river will not count. I'm going. He got me. Cost me money and got me. Perkins needs a six for the win. A queen or a tray will chop it. But it's a five. First one's mine. The second one doesn't count, but we need to see what it is anyways. This is me. If a six comes now, I am super shallow. <laughs> so this river will not count. A six would be pretty sick. Nope, deuce of diamonds, and that doesn't spoil any of Perkins' outs. That one didn't count. Here's the last one that counts. No six. Don't don't punish me for this funny business that I did. You should get punished for all that drama. You should get punished for all that drama. Save the drama for your mama and deal. Will he get punished? No. Ten of spades and Phil Locke is gonna drag a three hundred and thirty-five thousand dollar pot. Good. I'm out. All right, buddy. You got that it. Sick. Good drama. Good drama. Tight lock has just leapfrogged Justin Bonomo by a wide margin to become the big game's most profitable player ever with more than 575,000. That's over half a million. Oh.